Okay, it's Shepard's birthday, and he has requested sous vide steak because he is spoiled rotten. Yes. These are our steaks. Some grass-fed, thick-cut, dry-aged New York strip steaks. I uh, did about an inch and a half thick cut. So, um, I did this a couple of times and he liked it so much, I'm doing it again. So, I am going to be bringing the internal temperature of the steaks to 130.5 degrees. A little seasoning, we got some pepper, now we're adding a little garlic salt. Keep it simple, stupid. Doing two steaks to a bag. I can't do this with two hands, so just know in a second I'm going to start pumping the air out of this bag. It's going to be so exciting. Okay, the steaks have been vacuum packed. Uh, my wife did just inform me. This is actually a ribeye, not a New York strip. I didn't get the steaks. I didn't know that. Um, it kind of looks like a New York strip, but okay. I'm going to go with what the uh, butcher told her. Okay, Shepard, uh, can you explain why this is what you requested for your birthday meal? Um, one time you made some of these and they were really good. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, how old are you? Eleven. How do you feel? Different? Um, no. Steaks. Going in to... Their bath. That's just some of them. Now I gotta get the other ones. And the other four. Oh gosh. It's gonna fit? Yes. I think that's two, not four. The other two to make four. <laughs> that's right. And now we wait at least an hour for the uh, temperature to reach 130.5. What are we gonna do while we wait? Um. Well, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do while we wait? Well, I'm gonna wait. Well, while Daddy waits, he's going to enjoy some red wine. Oh, but again, I need two hands for this. Oh, gosh. I need a head, head mount for my phone. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> my wife has offered to help. Jesse, could you please press that button on the top of that? The metal button? Yeah, right there. I let go? Oh yeah. Uh, hold on, do it again. You gotta keep, pre <laughs> gotta keep pressing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> hold on, do, do, do a little bit more. I like the way you press that thing. <laughs> again, this is not a sponsor. This is a Coravin that allows you to pierce a hole in the cork of a wine bottle, get some wine out, then replace the wine with argon gas and save it for later. I love it. Not a sponsor. I just found out that somebody had to go to the doggy emergency room today because she got into some macadamia nuts. Barbara, why did you do that? Seriously, Barbara, listen. Macadamia nuts are poisonous for your species. Hey, hey, look at me. Barbara, shame on you. <laughs> Don't do that thing where you act like you're going to sleep. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, yeah. so tired, acting like I'm going to sleep. Barbara, it's, I know it's an act. I know you're not sleepy. You've been laying around all day. But I did want to clarify that Barbara is completely fine. She's just a little embarrassed. But listen, we all make mistakes, Barbara. We still love you. Okay, we've, uh, we're coming up on about 90 minutes. I think it's time to take these out. I'm just going to unplug the sous vide. Okay, we've got these steaks brought to a temperature of 130.5 degrees. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. Now, we got to fix the outside. Okay, just patting them down a little bit so we can get a serious sear going. 
Now I'm going to take some Danish creamery butter. Not a sponsor, but very good butter. I'm going to take almost this whole thing. I mean, maybe half, between half and three quarters. Put in this pan right here. And the moment of sear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now the old flipperooski. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's check out what happened in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. That's a steak, y'all. Okay, now the moment of truth. The birthday boy tastes his steak. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs>